Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Martina and this is a secret craft room. This video is part of the Booty Call collaboration hosted by myself as well as Tracy from Tracy Vanover Designs, Dawn from Shabby Meets Bling and Monica from Up All Night DIY. Joining us are a whole bunch of our talented friends to so make sure to check out the playlist. The playlist as well as the host's channels are linked in the description box. I loved my little ghost in a jar so much that I had to make another one, but I gave this one a little swing to sit on. Please don't forget to subscribe and also give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I've had this lantern for years but never used it, so I decided to put my little ghostie in here. The very first thing I did was to make a base for the ghost to sit on while drying. I just cut out a bunch of cardboard squares and glued them together. Then I covered everything with a couple of layers of tape so the ghost won't stick to the cardboard. Next I made the base for the ghost out of metal wire and a tiny little styrofoam ball. I added a little dab of hot glue to each hand to make them more rounded, this way the fabric won't be as pointy there. Then I attached it to the cardboard base. I usually use round pieces of fabric when making ghosts, but for this one I cut out a rectangle. This will help to shape the ghost because there won't be a lot of fabric on the sides. Then I just tried it out and cut away fabric until I was happy with the length. Next I cut the slit at the back so I could put the back part underneath the ghost. Then I mixed equal parts of white glue and water and soaked the fabric piece. Then I squeezed out as much of the glue mixture as I could and started to shape the ghost. Then 
This took a little while because there are so much more details than when making a standing ghost. You need to make sure he's got a little butt and also to tuck in the edges around his arms and so on. While the ghost dried I started working on the tree. I made the base out of metal wire. Then I used aluminum foil and masking tape to build it up to make it look like a tree. I also added some branches made from aluminum foil. Once I was happy with the shape of the tree I started adding layers of hot glue to the whole thing. This will create the bark and also make it look old and withered.
Next I made some tiny tombstones. I first cut them out from thin cardboard and then I glued craft foam to both the front and back. Then I used my pencil to add details to the foam. Then I covered them with two coats of black acrylic paint. I also painted the tree black. Once completely dry, I dry brushed it with brown paint, then I dry brushed it with a lighter shade of brown. Once the ghost had dried completely, I cut it off from the cardboard base. Next I made the wooden part of the swing. I used the ghost to figure out how big I should make it. Then I pretty much used the same technique as with the tombstones.
I also made a hole at each of the corners. Next I painted two little eyes on the ghost. Then I dry brushed the tombstones with grey paint and the swing with brown paint. Then I cover the tree, tombstones and swing with a coat of Mod Podge. Next I added jute twine as a rope for the swing. I used this little metal hoop thing to thread the twine through the holes. It is meant for threading a needle but it worked just as well for this. I made a long piece of twine and a short piece of twine on each side of the swing. Then I tied them together to create sort of a little triangle shape at the bottom. I added small dabs of super glue to make sure that the knots wouldn't come undone. Next I glued the ghost in place on the swing. I also glued his hands to the rope. Then I added the swing to the tree, but unfortunately I forgot to press record on my camera before doing this. Next I drilled a hole at the bottom of the lantern. I drilled mine at the far left corner behind the where the tree will be. 
Then I thread a string of fairy lights through the hole. I am going to turn some of the little lights into glowing mushrooms, so I started by making small dots of hot glue on a piece of parchment paper. Then I folded and twisted the wire at each of the lights that I want to turn into mushrooms. Next I added hot glue to the twisted piece of the fairy lights and added one of the little glue dots on top. I did five little mushrooms. Then I used pink and blue sharpies to paint the top part of the mushrooms. Blending these two colors will create a purple shade. Then I also used acrylic paint to paint the mushrooms so that they would look nice when the lights were off too. I turned on the lights from time to time to make sure I didn't add the paint too thick. Then I painted the foot of the mushroom with a light beige color and lastly added just a tiny bit of black at the bottom. For the other lights I first used a green sharpie but then I added green acrylic paint as well because they weren't green enough. In hindsight I wish I had used a more yellowish green though. Then I covered the mushrooms with a coat of Mod Podge. Then I glued the tree in place in the lantern and once again I forgot to press the record button on my camera. Then I started to glue the mushrooms in place. They didn't want to stick properly to the metal so I decided to add pieces of thin cardboard at the bottom first. I glued them in place using super glue. I recommend doing this before adding the tree because that would have been a lot easier. Then I painted the bottom with green paint. And 
then I glued the mushrooms and lights in place and then also the tombstones. I decided that the green paint was the wrong shade for the moss, so I added a few more shades to the bottom. Next I glued the moss in place. I started by using white glue, but I realized that it was easier with hot glue. I also glued a little bit of moss to the tree as well. Please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also please go and check out the playlist for more spooky inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.